back to Christmas prep with me, Maggie. So now I'm joined with my auntie Patience. Hi, auntie Patience. Hello, Maggie. And we are going to take you through a simple jollof rice recipe. For me, Christmas is not just about the food you prepare, but it's also the time you get to spend with your loved ones. And I love to cook with my auntie and my mum. So now let's begin the dish. So auntie, what do we do first? First of all, we need to heat our oil. Okay. To fry our meat. And all the measurements will be below, guys. Let me take the okay. auntie. So we'll wait for the oil to, to be hot up. so okay. that we can just drop our meat inside. Okay. And one of the things I love about cooking with my auntie and my mum is that you're able to really learn our uh, West African traditional recipes. So now, auntie, it looks like the oil is hot. So, so what would we do next? So we now put the meat in the oil okay. for it to fry. Okay, so we're frying the meat. Meat. So I would say, if there's two of you in the kitchen, use the lid to protect yourself. Auntie, it's hot. Uh, yeah, hot. <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure not. Okay. Very common. <laughs> so how did you learn how to make jollof rice? Oh, I learned it. I learned it from my. This is very. This is a very good question. I yes. learned it from a guy. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I learned it sure? from a guy. I think he will be doing the jollof, and I was watching him, yeah. watching him. So one day, I just. I had to, I know how to do my own jollof. Yeah. So I just pulled some of his tactics and added it to my own. Oh, okay. So that, and now you've got um, your own yeah, so recipe. That's how come I got my own recipe. Okay. So it took some practice. Exactly. Before you perfected the recipe. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so for all you viewers out there that are cooking jollof rice for the first time, don't be afraid to practice. No one is perfect from the get-go. It takes time. Yeah. So Maggie, now the meat is okay, so we need to take it from the oil. Okay, so should I get start... some plate? Yes, to please. Shoot? Okay. So now you're gonna plate the meat onto yes. then we start to our shoot. stew. Okay, and why do you do this? Oh, it's just for the meat to be, we can't just use the meat, the cooked meat, just like that. We okay. just have to fry it okay. so that it'll be a little bit hard. Okay. So that we can put it in the tomato stew Later. for the jollof. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Yes. Okay. So we we'll start by adding, this is uh, blended tomatoes, okay. pepper, and then onions. Yeah. So it the goes into mix. the oil. The same oil we use to fry the beef. Okay. That's what we are using. Okay. We are not changing anything. Lovely. Yeah. So that one goes inside. Okay. Give it a stir. Okay. And then let it simmer for a while. Okay. Then we add the rest. So I'm gonna put the lid on the Yes. Okay, Auntie. Thank you. So Auntie, what are we gonna do now? Now we are ready to put our tomato paste. Okay. In it. Into the stew. So yes. let me open it for you. A lot of things has to go in now. Okay. We are putting the tomato paste and then we'll put the stock from the beef. Okay. Into it. So guys, did you get that? We're using the stock from the beef we cooked earlier. Again, the recipe and the steps will be in the description below. So don't throw that away when you make your beef. Yeah. Because this makes the stew and it gives a nice taste. Okay. So the stock adds flavour to, to the, the dish. Fish, yes. And I have some fresh rosemary. Okay. I want to drop it into the tomato sauce. Okay. And then I'll allow it to, to okay, simmer. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so now are we checking the stew, Auntie? Yes, we are checking our stew. Okay. We are almost getting there. Okay. Yeah. So guys, remember to check the stew regularly. 
So, Auntie, what are we doing now? Now it looks like our stew is ready. Okay. We don't have water in it yeah. to strain. So we just put our meat back into, into the stew. Now we're just adding everything into the this. stew. Nice. Yes. It looks really nice. And it's thickened really well, guys. Yeah. This texture is lovely. So and it smells great. Yes. So we put our curry okay. in it. Yeah. Then we'll add our stocks okay. into the sauce. Do you want me to help you, Auntie? Okay. okay. Then we add our water. Okay. The water, I would advise. I don't know. Me, I like my rice very hard. Okay. So it depends. Okay. If you want it soft, you, you want it hard. Water. Yes. Okay. And if so you want you it check. more hard, like yes. you want less. Yes. Okay, guys, again, we will comment. We will put all the full description in the comment section below. So don't worry if you've missed anything here. So our rice is going in. Okay. And what type of rice have you used here? I used Gino rice. This is a Ghana brand. Okay, yes. Gino and rice. Ghanaians like that rice. Okay, okay. It. So Gino rice? Yes. Free promo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one day we have to they have to come and see us. Okay. <laughs> so Okay, nice. We are done. Okay. You realize I didn't I didn't put salt throughout. Yeah. I just want to add the water, the quantity of water, so that I can now add my salt, salt into taste. it. Yes. Okay. So you can just add a little bit of salt. Okay. And then we are good to go. Okay. Cool. It looks really nice. So. Yeah. I mean, it's taken me a while to perfect jollof rice, but I really do enjoy seeing other people's recipes because I feel like everyone has a unique feel um, when it comes to jollof rice. So how long do you think we're going to leave it to cook now? Maybe like 15 minutes we are done. Oh, okay, so 15, 15 minutes, minutes, guys. Okay, so auntie, what are we doing next? We want to check how far the rice has gone so okay this is okay we just stir mm -hmm. and then we need to cover it okay with a napkin or any even if you have aluminium foil okay you can use it to cover it because we need that heat okay to soften the rice okay okay so so maggie yeah can you please get me the napkin so that we can just cover our rice yes auntie i will get it thank you Is this okay? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So we'll make it in a way that we'll get the heat. Okay. To cook the rice, to steam the rice. Okay. Okay. Lovely. And Lovely. you can use foil. Yes, you can use aluminium foil as well. So we are good to go. Lovely. So how long do we need to cook this for? So let's say roughly 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. It depends on the heat. Okay. The okay. fire you are using. Okay. It depends on that. Maggie, okay. now our rice is ready. Okay, auntie. So we now. Oh, that looks good. This is proper Ghanaian jollof. Yes. So that's it. Nice. Let's dish some up so yes. we can try. So, Maggie, you can give me a plate so that we can try it. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Yum. Yum, that looks okay. so good. I'll do you go first. Okay. How does it taste? This is very it's good. It's nice. Let me try. This is nice. Thank you so much, Auntie, for doing this. You're welcome. Mmm. It's good jollof. Yeah. Ghana jollof. Yum. <laughs> the yeah. best jollof. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me take some more, please. Me hungry, pal. Yeah. <laughs> a comma de me. A comma <laughs> <laughs> This is tastes good. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Auntie's jollof. Honestly, 
jollof rice bang, sorry, <laughs> but it's so good. I recommend if you haven't cooked jollof rice before, maybe practice a few weeks before Christmas because it's not something you want to experiment with on Christmas okay, Day itself. Yes, exactly. Right? So you can try one okay. and then on Christmas Day, you can just do it for the family. Okay, nice. And they will love it. Yeah, it's, it's so nice. Yes. I want to tuck into some mm -hmm. more. So guys, yeah, we're off. Um, thank you for tuning in and remember to comment, like, share, all of that good stuff. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the links are in the bio. Thank you. Thanks. Let's tuck in. Mm. Thank you.